Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 4, I think, yes? Suddenly got dark, but yeah. Bit of a day night cycle in this game, forgot to mention that. Quite a few things I forgot to mention. Um, well I remember it, uh, character information. New character information. Um, do you remember where it said you can, um, not so much reward your enemy, your, your foes? Your foes, your allies. Yes, everybody's an enemy. Uh, you can reward your enemy, uh, your allies, by saying "good job" and stuff by pressing up. Um, that will mean they will do that option more. What they did, and you have the different stats and stuff. Like she's very good at recovery, so she'll use like recovery items and stuff. This is basically how they will do it. I think the bigger the things are the more, so she'll cooperate with you, with you not as much as uh, she'll attack and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Because, uh. Tutorials in this game suck! <laughs> they probably don't suck, they just I'm being pig headed and idiotic. Den of Lizard Men, eh? Huh. Or rather, huh? Yeah, you're playing through this area too. Indeed. These Lizard Men definitely have numbers, but they aren't actually that strong. There's a really strong one up ahead, though, so do be careful of that one, okay? Got it, thanks. For the info. You're welcome. I had a bit of a close shave just now, so I need to head back to regroup. Good luck. Alright, that strong lizard man is probably some kind of mid boss. Better go say what that say, better go see what that lizard man is like. And tear it to pieces, because I am awesome. Huh? Yep, that's his official Huh, from now on. Huh? What's this? What is this? The blocking object and an object to disable it, probably. But in order but in order to activate this, it looks like I probably have to progress in another event first. Yeah, let's look around, Silica. And do you wanna bet that that event is killing that mid boss? Which is going that way, I'm guessing. I'm not guessing, I know. <laughs> Almost every enemy you come across in like this early stage can be killed by using spinning totality, so you can like... Oi, fight me! Oi, fight me! Oi, fight me! And then like, just use an AoE skill. Like, just kill most of them. That's not a uh, 360 AoE skill, so... Some enemies are slightly stronger, but not by a great deal. I could have probably stood there and had them wail on me and they wouldn't have hit me. My evade is really low though, so... That will be my tactic for grinding later on. I'll put on lots of evasion gear, find some fairly low enemies and just stand around and let them try and hit me. Uh, there's no items in this area. Well, I would have expected it. An item, that is. La 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 la. Die. No, I think I may have missed the other one. Nope, I got it as well. Or Silica got it. Which is more likely. Yeah, one problem with this game there are lots of small areas like this where the camera angles tend to become mm, frustrating. Yeah, frustrating will work. I've got used to enemies which take like a minute apiece to kill. Because in the hollow area, enemies do get stronger quickly.
Nice, that's giving me lots of carmine stones. See what I said earlier about carmine stones? And ore. You will now use that skill a little more. It's not a great deal more. It's like um, they have between. Is it, is it, I'm just pulling this out of my ass. I don't know if that's exactly how it is, but I think they have like um, on their lineup. Each skill will have a priority, and the higher the priority, the more they will use it. I don't know if that will be on like a list. I just don't know how it works. I'll just leave it at that. My usual response: I have no idea how it works. It just does. So you could probably tailor a character to work with you just how you like, but that would require knowledge, and that is something I am sadly very, very limited of. Come on, miss me, miss me. See, they're missing me, and my evasion is going up. Um, I don't know, once again, how... Oh, the evasion seems to be... Oh, I thought it was like, a, a, one point of evasion is one point of evasion. Oh, it's, it's not quite that much. And, and depending on how well I edit, you won't be hearing things like this. taps and things. I'll leave those in, um, but whenever I move almost at all, you'll either hear the wire knocking on something, or you'll hear me like tapping the headset or something. I tend to try and edit all of those out because um, I just don't like them being in. It feels unprofessional. It's one of the main reasons why I want a proper, like, stand microphone rather than the headset. I mean, a headset so I could hear. What? I heard a voice just now. It's from up ahead. Yep. I want a headset so I can hear the actual game sounds, and I can use this one. Although well, this one is fairly old, um, it's one of them where if the wire isn't wrapped in a certain way only one of the ears will work properly so I kind of need a new PC headset and I need a new microphone. I need a uh, stand microphone so uh, you don't hear the cracks and pops and uh, taps and stuff. I just need a better setup and of course a better setup would need money and I don't have money so I'm having to make do with what I have so, sorry if this all feels unprofessional. Because it is massively unprofessional. Silver, this is bad. I never expected it to be so strong. Hey, you okay? Help us! What he said. What she said. Okay, I owe you one. Um, I remember the very first time I fought this, because this is like a mini boss and they'll all attack at the same time. And when they use, they enemies can use sword arts as well. Remember how I said sword arts usually do a hell of a lot more damage than normal attacks? Well, if you have uh, someone like Sinon or um, Leifer, who, uh, if you haven't done anything with them, are like level 50 and 60 by now, um, they can get killed. They can die in this thing, and the very first time I got to this fight, I failed because one of them died. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing to admit that, but it happened. Alright, let's go. And I'm going to end this battle. Maybe not end it, but uh, go through it quickly. I was about to say, uh, 
thought he was going to do a sword up, but it was a, a buff move. Are you okay? Mm, bacon. Now you make me want a bacon sandwich. What about the others? You had them teleport back to town. They were really grateful for what you did. I see. I'm glad you were all okay. It's all thanks to you. Yep, it's all thanks to me. Oh, that's right. On your way here, there was an object that wouldn't let you pass, right? That enemy you beat just now should have been the trigger to release the block. Go back and check it out. You should be able to to erase the object now. Really? That's perfect. I'll check it out. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'm heading back to town then. Alright, be careful. The first time through this, I thought, um, why aren't you just using a teleport crystal? Your your friends did. And then I, I found out that teleport crystals are actually quite expensive. Mm hmm. Quite expensive indeed. Of course, by the time you start really using them in this game, you have like 30 of the things. So. Yeah, I've also noticed that. I'm not sure whether it's because of the engine, or the engine, or if this is run on a kind of emulation engine or whatever. But I've noticed you seem to run faster when you're in the map like that. I'm guessing that this is the speed the game is usually supposed to like run at, but for whatever reason, it doesn't run at that speed. It runs at like, let's say it runs at 27 frames rather than 30 or 60, whatever. It doesn't run quite as well as it should. Just as I thought, the object was erased. Alright, let's move on. Okay! Okay, Kenneth Othan! Stay calm behind you! Always right behind you! You gonna turn around and spee me or not? But now! Smack, 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 smack! <laughs> Windflower ore. I'll be finding most of my ore through uh, chests like that. So I'll be doing lots of exploring, and I think that leads to the exit. Yes, it does. Spinning totality will kill most of them. Yeah, you can kill that one. I told her to. Can you see them now? I can leave bedrock all things in my. Use your skills. You can tell them to use skills and stuff. It's cool. Half the time they don't actually use the skills because they're in the middle of another action, but. It's almost disorientating, he's like, slow, slow, sprinting! I could go around and kill every monster, it's probably useful to do that. For the chance I get materials. It's something along the lines of the, uh, the higher level you are away from enemies, the less chance you are of getting an item. So if enemies are like 10-20 um, levels above you, you have a higher chance of them dropping ore and materials and stuff. So, yeah. Huh? What the? This is one tough customer. Somebody help! And look at the frame rate drop. <laughs> Players are out of danger, but I'm not. I'm just standing around while a uh, spider stacks on my leg. Thanks, you saved me. I wouldn't have either. Oh, I would have been a goner for sure if you hadn't come. Thanks. Oh, I'm sure you would have survived. Your friends might not have, but you would have survived. A 
I do remember when I was talking about that fetch quest where you had to collect items, not fetch quest, collect item one. Well, this is where it is on the first day. You found an item, a valley herb. You can't pick any more up, and there aren't any more of them here. You can't just run out down there and then come back, because it won't be there. You need to have a certain amount of time pass before you can recollect it, and it. Yeah, it gets annoying. Especially when it's an area you can't instantly teleport to. So you have to, like, waste 10 minutes running to an area. Then either run all the way back or use a teleport crystal. And then, like, it's just a, a fairly large time sink, and I spend very little time actually doing it. It wouldn't be so bad if the enemies were, like, the same level as you. But they're so low, they give you so little experience, they're really not worth fighting. I'd like to say that that's something they fix in the next game. And ironically, I think the next game, the um, Sword Art Online Lost Song, was made by a different pe group of people, so... The Labyrinth is getting a lot closer. Yes, let's clear it quickly. Sure, let's do that. Huh? It's the NM Spider, the named monster. But is it actually named? Hmm, what's wrong? Nothing, it's just according to the guild info, there should be a special monster somewhere around here. That's right, that, that sounds important for developing a boss strategy. Yeah, let's fight it before it gets taken down by someone else. And once again, I'm not really doing it now, but if you want me to... Speak in a feminine voice! And that's not feminine at all, that's just a squeaky. But if you want me to differentiate my voices, I won't do it in a different voice for every character, but I'll try and do it, um... different for male and female, <laughs> at least. You'll at least be able to know I'm speaking about different people. <laughs> if you want. If, you, if you're not bothered, I won't bother either. Harry was cancelled. Oh my god, I failed. Usually I use deep, deep impact, and of course Silica knocked it out of the path, so my attacks did nothing to it. And I use dead end. Those two skills decrease the enemy's attack and the enemy's defense, increases survivability, and makes the battle slightly quicker. Yep, your partners have uh, requests during battle. Like she asked me to stun it, I stunned it, and I gained affection with it. She gained affection towards me or something like that. Yep. Now I have information on the boss. That's quest. <laughs> Guild. Uh, tentacle attacks can be dodged with quick steps. And I think quick steps is it's either that or it's a skill. There's an easy way to find that out. That's steps. I'm not sure if it's quick steps though. Let's go. Quick steps. Yep. Quick step. It's a skill increases in terms of attack speed. Is, is that right? Or is there a skill called quick steps as well? I don't suppose it matters. I mean, the boss is completely weak. Literally a weakling among weak things. A big slime is making smaller slimes. You never would have guessed. The path is just covered in slimes. Now this isn't a mechanic of it, but it would have been pretty cool if like that slime was a field boss type thing. Oh, I may actually be. I'm not sure. It may just be a, like a higher level one, not with multiple uh, bosses. You can usually tell have multiple energy bars, energy bars health bars, um, like that NM monster we fought. It'd be cool if, like, um, for every one of these you don't kill, 
increase the level of the uh, that mini boss by one. So like we get up to it and then it pulls them all back to itself. It would have been a cool mechanic, but alas, it is not a mechanic in the game. These small monsters are pretty weak. Considering we're on the upper floors, is it because they were just born? But if they aren't taken care of now, this path is going to be completely covered in slimes. Guess I'll clean them up. Yep, Janata Kirito to the rescue. Holy well, crap, there are only level 3, I hadn't, I hadn't noticed that. I'm trying to remember now if the frenzied boar from the ver from like the first floor of the game um, in the anime were level one or level five. If if that if they were level five, as I suspect, they probably weren't. But if they were level five, then that makes these things weaker than them, and they were like the first enemies you can come across. Nah, I think it's more a case of um, they either just level threes and they were level ones. Ah, uh, that's a difference in running speed. <laughs> I don't know why you you turn certain corners and suddenly you speed up. It makes no sense. I find it, I found an item later on. Um, I'm saying that I found an item later on, like I'm doing this post commentary. I'm not. I'm here, like left, right, left, right, forward, back. Hello, Bean. Yeah, but I found an item in my later on in my other playthrough um, that uh, increased running speed, and I really could not tell. It was like I was running at this speed all the time, rather than just sometimes. It was confusing. But it's another one of them, I'm guessing that the game is like emulated rather than um, like run on the PS4's hardware. It's emulating uh, PS Vita or PSP's hardware or whatever. So I do not see how it could run as bad as it does otherwise. And it's just one of the many downsides of that. Doesn't always run at 100%. Rarely runs at 100%, but it runs well enough. Trade items are usually uh, things you just go and sell, or they are things you can use because um, usually it's labeled trade slash quest in the uh, the items menu show you, it's easier than just saying. Yep, show, don't tell. Uh, others, like, these are materials you, you can use. These are ores. I don't have... Oh, uh, you can't sell ores and stuff. That's why these appear above the ores. Uh, when you sell stuff, these will appear always at the bottom. Um, you have trade items, these ones are just sellable. Just sell them. You don't use them for trade quests. Or you don't use them for quests. You can, on the other hand, use them for um, items. Use them for items. Of course, you can use them for items. You can use them on un under crafting. Is um, a bee stinger. I was thinking um about prime boar meat. I think it's prime boar meat. It's it's one of the items, the fairly rare ones, the good ones you want to get when you're like making a new weapon, because I think it increases either drop rate or uh, experience gain. So you can farm these and then get lots and lots of uh, cool stuff on your weapon. Like I said, the more I level up, the less likely I'm going to have of finding them. So. You can take this one, Silica. I'll stand here and watch. Yeah, it's not really a boss boss, it's just... Big. 
You would have expected it to have at least two health bars. I mean, that was pathetic. Phew, that was a tough one. No, it wasn't. But if that, if that, blah, 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 but if that had been left to its own devices, this whole floor might have been totally filled with slimes. Getting rid of it was probably the right thing to do. Yeah. Probably. If you didn't want a slime legendary... What was it? Legendary slime slime? Legendary something. Mythical beast mucus, that was it. Finally made it to the labyrinth. We don't know what lies ahead. Let's stay on our guard. Okay, I have to stay here. I have to stay... Dirty uh, hell, Litica. You are getting tongue-tied. <sighs> oh, the many joys of having a lisp. Okay, I have to stay uh, aware too. Let's do our best. Alright, let's go. And this is the dungeon. They are exactly how you would expect dungeons to be. Mazes with enemies in and items in. One cool thing about dungeons is usually, like we'll probably get it on the next floor, or the next part of this dungeon or something, but you have um, like mini objectives, it might be go and kill certain enemies, or go find a strong enemy and kill it, and that counts as a kind of uh, quest. And after you do it, you get an item. They're usually stuff like rings, or belts, or gloves. And they're a fairly decent way to get items. But you can only do it once. Now, if you are watching this after getting to episode 80 of my uh, Let's Play on my old channel, um, you'll probably know that Silica stole my last attack bonus on one of the things, and I don't think it's going to be in there because I don't think I edited that particular one, but we fought a boss in the hollow area, which was one of the, the rare bosses which you can get a last attack bonus on. I think there's like one in each area. And guess who got the last attack bonus and stole the item from me again? I'm watching you, Silica. I'm watching you. Not in a creepy way or anything, just I'm watching you. You and your sneaky tendency to steal my last attack bonuses. She does, I mean, she's done it like four or five times off camera as well. I know it's just bad timing in my case, but <laughs> it's. it's Sad and frustrating. How dare she steal from me? <laughs> Couldn't even do a fake sniffing sound because of my bloody blocked up nose. Turns out a very nice stabbing motion, that. Very nice. No, get, get out of the fucking way. I do find that kind of stupid and annoying how the item for select items and pick up and stuff is the same item to talk to your friends. You would expect, like, talk to your friends with X, pick up items with circle. There are, as much as I adore the game, there are a few items which were really stupid. I mean, it could be something as simple as um, limitations of using a uh, like a handheld console because it was originally PSP and then PS Vita. And while they have done that cool swipe to bring that menu up, they haven't changed some of the other stuff. I do believe you can change some of them though, but I don't think uh, that is one of them. 
Like, if you change the individual button, would it still do the same thing? It would just be on a different button. Oi, mate. Follow me. You gonna... There we go! What are you telling me I... I went through all that and still missed? Annoyed now. <laughs> Annoyed now and then laugh. It's not truly annoyed, it's um, ironically annoyed. Now this is what something I'm, I'm still not sure on, because um, cause I'm doing 40 odd minute episodes now. Um, that means I can fit a lot more into what would normally be an episode. Because I don't like um, how uh, the four on the other one I had to limit how much was in an episode. Like I could have it so an episode would have had to have been ten minutes rather than the full fifteen minutes. I'm not explaining this very well again. In the end, it amounts to: Do you want to see me dungeon crawling like this, or do you want me to skip it? Because uh, what I'm doing now is pretty much all it. It's running around, kill some enemies, find some treasure, and that's it. But, because there is quite a bit of that, a 45 minute episode could be the first 7 minutes of story, and then 38 minutes or 50 minutes of me running around in a dungeon, killing things and finding treasure. If you don't find that particularly interesting, then it might be a, a pretty much a wasted episode for you. And I don't want that. I want the episode to be filled with content you'll you'll enjoy, you'll find amusing, you'll um, want to watch. So let me know if you want to see um, the episodes to be full of. Or like the uh, the 15 minute episodes on my old channel were just the story content. There'll be more of me moving from one area to the next. There won't be like an instant jump from one story scene to the next story scene. But there won't be so much of me running around in dungeons and stuff. There'll be less uh, less fluff, but there'll still be enough to know stuff's happened. Again, I'm really not explaining this very well. I'm trying to think of his name now. Um, is it Lost Pride? Pride? He calls himself Noble Sensei. Um, he does reaction videos, but he's also done a few Let's Plays. Um, there was one of uh, la 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 uh, Fairy Fencer F. He did. And how he formatted that was actually quite good. It had um, it had some of dungeon crawling like this. He might show uh, one or two battles and stuff, but most of it was cut out. So it would go from one like cutscene in a dungeon to the next. I'm thinking I may do it like that. I may edit it like that. If I still had Sony Movie, Va uh, Movie Maker, I would have some kind of uh, maybe cool little intermission, or not intermission, it would go, there'd be um, like say a 40 minute period of dungeon crawling in clips, like uh, say the top right would appear, and there'd be um, a half minute clip of me in a certain area of the dungeon, and then would appear in the top right, there'd be another part, and then so and so. So you could at least see some of what happened, like the highlights of that dungeon. And then that 40 minutes of what would have been dungeon crawling would be over in about two minutes. So you could get back onto the actual story. A formidable monster up ahead. 
this is one of those quest things I was talking about. You gotta find it. Yeah, I think I may... cut out pieces, bits and pieces. I'm not going to cut any of the this episode, I mean, after I've done that, because um, I'm still struggling to explain in this episode. It's like that, when I, I talk, I tend to stop, do something like concentrate on something else, and then continue. So I'll speak, and then I'll start continuing like that. I do that a lot. Um, I, uh, I don't consciously think about doing that. Uh, but when I, it comes to editing, I'll, I'll really notice it. I'm thinking, that, that's not very smooth, it sounds silly, it's, but I'll leave it in. That's another thing that um, using Movie Maker limits. Cause it makes editing uh, chat, the, the commentary, a little difficult. Because um, if it's a, a normal storyline, you can edit it, and then uh, you'll find the commentary, uh, like Fred. You can edit it bits out, then delete it, and uh, the the Fred won't move. With Movie Maker, if you delete a Fred part of it, the entire Fred will like connect together, so it won't stay where it were. If you know what I mean. So where um, if I was still using uh, the old Sony Vegas, I could edit the commentary so the my commentary flows a little better. So there aren't quite so many stopped interruptions between them. Well, unnecessary stopped interruptions, kind of like that. Oh, you bastard! definitely going to cut the uh, dungeon crawling elements out. Oh, no, I may not have to. I keep forgetting, um, one of the things uh, Move Maker has that uh, Sony Vegas didn't, which is, is like really easy with Move Maker that it wasn't so easy with uh, Vegas, is you can select a part of the video to be sped up really easily, so like I could have the entire time I'm in this dungeon um, played at triple speed. Should be talking like this and stuff, but it should still be understandable enough. But you can at least see what's going on. I may do that. Traveler's boots. See what they are. See what they look like. Some traveler's boots. They kind of go with this. They're not as good as the one I'm using because they've got um, plus 10 accuracy but and extra dexterity but they do look kind of nice. Still gonna keep the gladiators boots. You also find because if you've noticed the top right the map is so close you can't really see much of anything. You tend to run around in dungeons like this or rapidly changing between it's so like you, you'll have done that, you'll have picked that item up and then you go, oh look, map, go to a new area and then map again. Uh, 
that's um, everything on this floor, I think. I'll say that there's probably an item or something top right hand corner, but oh well. The final floor, the boss room. This feels different from the other floors. It's just a thought, but could the boss room be close? I don't know, we just have to press on and find out. Well, as considering I got up to like the 87th floor before I started doing the hollow area, every boss room was in a room, like a corridor like this, so yeah! Boss room. The boss room. Yoyoka. That's definitely the boss room. Okay, I'll set the corridor crystal here. Now, time to head back and set up the boss battle strategy meeting with the assault team. I don't. I'm not sure if uh, it actually explained in the anime how corridor crystals work. I think it did in the light novel. Um, I think they basically like uh, set up teleport points. So like you and a group could teleport straight to the crystal. The corridor crystal thing. Now I found the door to the boss room, all we need to do is beat it. But even so, we we'll still need to gather more information on the boss before we fight it. You're right, I'll do my best to find out everything I can. Thanks, Silica. I know I'm going to count on you. Alright, let's meet up again once we have more info. Just remember to invite me to your party again. I'm sure I will, eventually. Next Tuesday. Of next month. Of next year. Maybe. <laughs> Joking. Straight back to my room. Um, floor. I'm trying to. How to explain this? The episode's almost over as well, so I'll stop that. But um, when you clear a floor, uh, just like just after you clear the floor, you you have like events you can go and talk to, like talk to your friends and stuff. I think you also get one after you, or some at least, after you find the boss room. So it's always good to check that. Yeah, if you want to play poker, go to a guild shop during the day. So I already remember that. Um, after you finish a floor, and after you find the boss room, there may be new events you can go and uh, find. So, yeah! <laughs> uh, I hope you have enjoyed this. This will be the end of this episode. I I'm Considering how I'm going to be speeding that dungeon up, I'm tempted to go... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to... I'm not going to end this episode here, I'm going to go do that uh, poker event, then I'll end the episode. I'll have to think about that from now on, because I thought I was going to like record an episode's worth and then stop the recording, so it makes editing it easier, so the, edit, the movie maker doesn't fail. Which it didn't on both of those episodes I've already edited, which I'm glad for. I'm hoping it won't fail anymore so I can at least do some editing. Like edit out all of the... that crap. <laughs> or most of it, I'll probably miss some parts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to think now if I'm going to like be speeding certain segments up. Because I could have a segment, I could like record for 45 minutes, but then not realise in the back of my head that 40 of those 45 minutes were spent in a dungeon, so sped up that 45 minute episode would be cut like 20, so. I'm trying to keep my episodes around 40 minutes. Give or take. Konnichiwa desu, Papa. I, I, I couldn't hear if he was speaking then, but um. Yeah, um. Something else you you may know. Almost every word, almost every word, um, the rest of the cast say, they say, but not all of the stuff that Kirito says is spoken by his voice actor, which I found kind of 
confusing on why they went with that. It's really crowded today. If there's some, is there some sort of event going on? Huh, poker. It's a kind of card game. You win points by making combinations of cards using the five cards you have in your hand. A little bit online. For money. What? Yeah, it might be nice to actually show you how this kind of game is played. なに、なに。こっちでもポーカーやるの。だったら私も入れて。おお、構わないぞ。人数が多い方が面白いからな。えっとさ、勝ったら何がもらえるの？商品は？ why am I suddenly shivering? So called. Can't wait a knockatomo. Ni seno menu cara, Nanika Usually it's Okaneo we definitely shouldn't use anything that might start a fight between us. No, well, how about this? Yui, what would you want for a prize? Oh. Hey. あたしも参加します。あ、あの、私もやります。ちょっと待った。この流れで俺が参加しないってのもおかしな話だよな。キリトの独占権を奪って存分にこき使ってやるぜ。You Texas Hold'em. That's the one where you use two cards in your hand and the five on the table to make scoring combinations. Also, it's probably semi amusing to note. I have no idea how to play Texas Hold'em. Or poker in general. I used to play it at school but it's been a long time since then and uh, more than almost 15 years. Um, so yeah. Can't remember how to play poker. 15 years since I played poker not since I was in school. How did it come to this? It's no good. I give up. Fold. fold. えっと、私の番ね。よっ。これなら<笑> Showdown. それじゃ、手札を見せてくれ。じゃじゃん。ストレート。残念でした。キングのスリーカードも強いんだけどね。勝ちを確信しちゃダメだよ。何事も失敗の可能性はあるでしょ。
思い切ってレイズするべきかな普通にコールアブハダ A very amusing thought. Pina is a master poker player. Silica, you're next.
すごいですでもご褒美はどうしましょうかそうだよ商品が勝っちゃったら勝負にうーんここは最勝負で Calm down, everybody. Okay, since I can't very well have a day with myself, how about I spend the entire day with Yui? Uh, wait a minute, Sinan. What? Did you really just lose that last showdown? You didn't show your final hand, did you? You'd had a pair of aces. Huh? That's... She totally had the winning cards. <laughs> Not all the cards have been cleared up. I could find out for sure if I looked. No, nope, Sina said it said so herself. Let's just say I won and leave it at that. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> There are lots of uh, really cool little skits like that. And there's another one with a gill. So, uh, Suna isn't. Uh, Suna is complaining about something at a gill shop. That'll be the next time. As I was talking about shops before, you can actually uh, sell things to a gill as well. So, yeah. All the, uh, the extra items you find. Because um, there's going to be lots of useless swords and uh, useless items. Like. Extra gloves, boots, which you don't really have useful stats on them and stuff, or you have like just better ones. What is that not equipped? I bought that for like four million. It is equipped. Huh. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. And I've completely forgot my tangent. Uh, yeah, you can sell all the, the extra items and stuff to them. You can get a lot of money. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, I hope to see you in the next episode. Please do comment. Uh, maybe follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.